Okay, hey guys, it's the Timster. I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial, um, showing you guys how to make fog that looks something like this. Um, so, we're going to go get right on into it. So open up Blender, if you don't already have it open. Um, and 2.68 has just come out which is great, has lots of cool new stuff, so go ahead and get that if you don't have it already, um, go up here, change this to Blender Game, GLSL, um, and I'll move the cube up a bit, add a plane, Shift A, and then S to scale it, and then I'm going to press 1, and then Control Alt 0, G and somehow that's fine. It's just to see so we can just to see whether the mist is working or not. So we're gonna just add some random objects like this. Um something about there. Give each of them sort of different depths. So something like that's fine. Yeah, and shift F to make the camera fly around. But something like that is just fine. So, what we're going to do now is... Um, what the, um, what you normally just do is you go into your world settings and you tick mist and you add it and then you press 0 and then you press P and you have this sort of line along the back and it like, I don't know, it just cuts off your vision and it doesn't have that nice sort of in-between look. It just cuts it right off, like that. So what we're going to do is make our own sort of mist and to be honest, I semi got this idea from um, when I was playing Bioshock Infinite and or even just using the Cry Engine or Unreal Engine, and um, you have that really nice looking sort of mist stuff everywhere. And I figured, well, that just looks like a lot of planes, really. Um, and so I thought I'd give it a go myself, and it turned out pretty nicely. So what we're going to do is open up GIMP. If you don't already have it, go download it. It's a free version of Photoshop. And it's a little bit harder to use, I guess, but you can get used to it. We're going to go File, New. Press OK. Color to Alpha. Press OK to that, so there's nothing there. Select the airbrush. Change this color to white. If you don't already have it, just drag that to white and press OK on here um, and down in your brushes if you think you select them then you can see what they are that one's called texture one but the one we're looking for that one so beside these weird squiggly lines this one it's called smoke now what we want to do with this one is turn it up to something like that's a good size maybe like even something like that what I want to do is just try not try to keep away from the edges if you can, but it really is just a matter of not holding down for too long, but just a bit here and there, keeping it mainly in the middle if you can. And you don't want the texture to be fully visible at all. So something like that is fine. So just keep going to you close to something like that. 
We're going to export it as fog. Export it out. And when you're done, that's all we need to do with GIMP. Close that. So you can just save it anywhere. It really doesn't matter, but let's go file, save, and get into, I don't know, some sort of folder. Call it fog. Save it. Uh, what we're going to do, shift A, add plane, RX90. Don't worry about the um, sort of normals and stuff because we're turning back facing off. Click shadeless, back facing. Actually, no, that's fine. Um, transparency to nothing. Um, gonna add image or movie. UV, oh. and then we're going to go open our, I'm guessing we saved it in here, fog, there we go, so open that up and click alpha, S, and somehow that's fine, drag this across, image or movie, I'm going to press tab, you unwrap, go to the fog, and that's fine, as you notice this is a little bit, uh, it's a bit too, um, a bit too sort of obvious, so we're going to turn this to something to like 0.4, even that's still too much. So 0.23, oh no, 0.25, and something like that is that could still be too much. Um, you you don't really want it very visible, so I've done a little bit too much on there, but we even got to go 0.18. That is fine, because what you're going to be doing is what you pretty much need to do is in your game or your level if you say have a um, a path for instance that goes just for this instance right through the middle then what you do is assuming that the cube was exactly in the middle you grab your um, plane of fog and you can move the edge of it so it was just overlapping the middle. Then you press Shift D to duplicate it, G X, and then G Y, and move it slightly behind like that. Even just like that's fine, and overlap it again, just like that. Select both, and then Shift D G Y, and just keep doing that all the way down your path. Now these gaps are probably, oh they should be fine, but again if, if your path is sort of like curved off to the side then you'll have to start curving your fog off to the side with the path. And also what you have to do is, press shift D, um, scale, scale it for the edges. Go into textured mode and make sure that the foggy part of it isn't touching the floor because that's really obvious. So you want it just something like that, just on the edge of it. Then we're going to go back and you'd add this into the side of your paths like this. Not on the very edge of the path, but just off the sides. And then what you do is select these again, move them across make them slightly bigger and then oh, then you have I think I know what I've done wrong so we're going to give our world a colour like this um, turn off shadeless yeah that was it so don't turn it on shadeless, leave it off. 
Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is turn that up and make the world. I don't know what the thing is, it's the light. So we need to change this to a hemi, I think. Yeah, hemi's fine. Make it not maybe not so bright and give it a colour. This will colour all the mist at once. So if you're having sort of like a I don't know, dull atmosphere you can turn this down a bit and have sort of like greyish mist. I know this world horizon colour isn't really helping. But I think that's, that's pretty much how I did it. Um, I might have accidentally made these sort of like too much, like taking too much alpha away. But we just have to. So you just sort of have to fiddle with it and add another layer here. But yeah, that's just sort of how I managed to do it. Um, I guess there's a lot of tweaking. I'm going to turn up the alpha again, see if that makes a difference. 0.25. And something like that's fine. Um, I think I did turn the alpha down a bit too much. But yeah, just a matter of tweaking. Um, but that's how you sort of get fake volumetric. Um, it's how you fake volumetric mist stuff, is just by adding lots and lots of planes. What you don't want to do is like set the alpha to like 0.5 and then leave huge gaps in between each one because that becomes really obvious. So rather have too many than not enough. But you can sort of, yeah, see what I'm starting to do. Um, it's decent like this. And I'm going to bring it down a bit. And that's sort of a bit more what I was looking for. So you can get that sort of mist. And yeah, I think then after that you just sort of heap it up on top of itself and add more and more planes onto the original image or game sequence thing. So you just keep going until well, you can see the back line of the plane is starting to become um, hidden by this fog but yeah you can you can see what it's doing. So that's pretty much how I made the fog. Um, I guess you could sort of maybe overlap them a bit more. Or even less. If you wanted to. Sometimes if you overlap them too much you just have that one section in the middle where they're both um, Sort of overlapping, it's extra dark, but that looks fine to me. And yeah, that's pretty much how I made a fog in my um, work in progress environment game thing that you guys saw here. So that's how I did all that and just edit it in. Um, there's planes all around the outside here, as you can see, maybe this line here. It's, um, I've gone and got a plane and then cut it in the middle and made it sort of work with the edge of the grass a bit more. And I did that on both sides, and then I've just stuck one plane there and then another plane there. And I've just done that following this curved path. And it works quite well. So anyway, that's how I made it. Um, I'll see you guys around for the next video.